This is Senator Doug Mastriano from the 33rd Senate District in South Central Pennsylvania, and I'm here to talk to you about what's happening on Tuesday, May 18th, where you'll have a say on three potential amendments to the Pennsylvania State Constitution. And so the first two are really uh, near and dear to many of our hearts because the past year we've watched the governor currently with his emergency powers, where every 90 days he can declare an emergency and self-renew without any accountability to the General Assembly. And as a result of this this past year, your senators and reps who are very close to you in the districts, we've had no, little to no say on some of the edicts that the governor's issued, such as essential and non-essential businesses. You know, for me and for everyone else out there, every job and business is essential. I know when I was, you know, working as a janitor or what have you, I needed that job as a, or a security guard or behind a grill to pay off the car, you know, to, to pay insurance, uh, <laughs> to repair bills. I always had an old, you know, rickety car. And so every job is essential. We had nothing to say about that. And early on in this whole crisis, over a year now, so much for 14 days of flattening the curve, we're now in 400 and some days. But uh, the purposes of uh, the first and second measures on the ballot on May 18th is you decide whether you want the governor to retain the powers that he's had, unilateral powers, without deference to the General Assembly, and that's the House and Senate, or do you want to rein that in a bit? So there's two measures. The first two we're going to focus in on here on the vote. And so I can't advocate on, on this. This is on the government website here, but I'll tell you what your vote means. Uh, a no on the first and second measure on the ballot on May 18th means that you're okay with the governor retaining uh, the power he has so the General Assembly cannot stop an emergency order without enough uh, votes in the House and Senate to override a veto. And that you're okay as well that the governor retains 90 days of emergency power. So 90 days and can self-renew. A yes on one and two means that you want to limit the governor's emergency powers from 90 days to 21 days. And to renew, that, that's useless to us if the governor can self-renew. And to renew, he'll need a, a simple majority vote from the House and Senate to renew that. And I'll give you a chance to contact your senator's rep say, yes, I do believe the, this emergency, whether, whether it's a COVID or a disaster, or some kind of other horrific event, you, you could hear the case be made you know, from the House, the, the House members or the senators and say, yeah, we want that to be renewed. So number one and two are, are near and dear to our hearts because the past year we've, we've lived underneath this incredible strange time where the governor has, has come up with, with declarations and edicts without deference to the people or the House and Senate. And so what effect this does, and it's important that I lay this out here because the language is so obscure as generated by the governor's secretary of state's office, it's really hard to understand what one and two say. But one and two basically, do you want to limit the governor's emergency powers to three weeks? And do you want the General Assembly to be the ones who say, yes, you can renew it after three weeks? Simple as that. So uh, there, there's going to be two other measures uh, out there. Uh, number three talks about uh, equal rights. Uh, the Pennsylvania state constitution is already very strong on protecting people based off of race, race and ethnicity. And number four, is, is about expanding loans available to fire and EMS. So you'll have to decide on your own on all four of these measures and whether what you want to have done. So I'm just here to explain in particular one and two, which language has been obscured, I believe, by design. And so once again, as a final wrap up, one and two, do you want to limit the governor's emergency powers? And do you want to limit it to three weeks from 90 days? And do you want the governor to lose his ability to self-renew that? So a yes vote on those two will, will put more power in the hands of the people. A no vote on those two means that how this emergency has run the past year, you're okay with that continuing. So it's up to you. And so General Assembly working for you. We were unable to override the governor's veto of 836 last year, returning the power back to the people. That we would, you know, you'd be informed by our Secretary of Health of, of the measures to take during this COVID environment. And then you go out as free people and live your lives as best you can, you know, with the knowledge that you have. Uh, so you decide this, so we failed to override that. And so this vote here on May 18th puts the power back in your hands. And so it's up to you, and that's the way it ought to be. Thank you, and God bless you all.